Virginia Lindsay of Ginger Cake Patterns and Design and today I'm going to share with you how I made this really cute tote bag. Um, I'm teaching a little sewing class right now and I really wanted my students to learn how to make a bag easily. Uh, the great thing about this bag that I think is special is that it uses every bit of a half yard of fabric. So you can go to the store or order online a half yard of fabric and every single bit of it will be used in this bag. The only extra thing is the lining fabric um, and it's so cute. It has an outside pocket and then also has an inside pocket and um, it's very useful. So let's get started. Okay, what I have here are all my materials needed. Um, now you can uh, go ahead on my blog and find um, the cutting guide to use your half yard piece of fabric. Every bit of the piece of fabric is used um, when making this bag, so that's really fun. Here we have the three 12 by 14 pieces. We have the one um, that's 14 by six piece. It's gonna be the interior pocket. And then we have the four by, with the fabric, about 42 inches, that's gonna be the handle. These are the two interior pieces that are 12 by 14. And then I also have several pieces of interfacing. Um, I have two pieces that are 12 by 14, one piece that is um, 6 by 14, and then one piece that is about 7 by 6. Okay, first we're going to make the two pockets. This is going to be the interior pocket, this little piece right here, and this is the exterior pocket. And the way we're going to make that uh, exterior pocket is I have the piece of stabilizer, and here is my piece of 12 by 14 fabric. I'm just gonna line this up right here, fold it over, and sew right across to make a top stitch to the top of the fabric. Okay, so that is top stitched. And then I'm gonna just turn this and have it right sides together. That's a little awkward because that little funny piece is there, but um, it'll, it'll be fine. So just take this and stick a couple pins in, and then we're gonna turn that after you sew this across and make it into a tube. Then you turn it back inside out and press it nice and flat. Okay, there it is. Turned, it's made, it, I made it into the tube turned it um, right side out and then pressed it nice and flat. And then I'm just gonna set it aside for a moment while we do the other pocket, okay? So here's the other piece and you can see I made a little mistake when I was making my cutting. Everybody makes mistakes. And, um, but that's not really gonna make any difference. It's an interior pocket. So take your other piece of stabilizer and kind of put it between like this. And instead of doing the top stitching, we are going to just leave it right there and hold it down with our fingers and turn it so that it's uh, this way and we can put some pins in to hold this all together. And what I'm gonna do on my machine is sew down here, over here, I'm gonna leave an opening for turning and then sew up this other side too. Okay, here's the pocket, I just made it. I sewed down these two sides. Now I'm just gonna clip my corners then I'm going to turn it inside out. And press it flat. I'm also going to go over to, uh, I'm going to get like a chopstick or something and poke out those corners. And then have that pressed nice and flat with the seam down the bottom folded under also. Okay, there's that nice little interior pocket. You can't even see that seam I messed up on. Um, and then that, and this is the opening at the bottom that I pressed under. And the last thing I'm going to do with this for now is just top stitch across the top for a nice little look. Now just set these pockets aside while we work on the exterior. Okay, so I have my two exterior pieces and I have my um, stabilizer, non-fusible. And here's one of my little tricks that I like to do. Um, I buy this cheap stabilizer 
And then I will just take a glue, a cheap glue stick from the dollar store and run a line of glue along the edge here. And this is so I don't have to baste. Now this probably isn't the best thing for my needle, but um, it hasn't really been a big problem so far. I'm sure if you do tons of sewing and you know, on a really nice machine, this might mess things up, but I don't know, I do a lot of sewing and I haven't run into any problems. It's just like, you know, a little bit, and then that kind of, it takes over in the basting. Um, one of my little things I like to do. There we go. And it's on there, and that holds everything in place. It doesn't have to be very much. I mean, you could even, if you're more comfortable just putting it at the corners, you can. But you have to make sure that it's nice and flat on there, okay? So we have this piece. Now we have, this is gonna be the front exterior and that's the back exterior. So I'm gonna just take my pocket piece I just created and place it. Um, you know, I put it about three and a half inches. I just, sometimes I just go like that to measure stuff. So about there, doesn't totally matter, just so that you feel like it's proportional. And I pin it in place like this more like this. And what's nice about a pocket like this is you know it's on straight because the sides are straight. And I'm just going to sew right across the bottom here. This is going to be my first sew. And then my second sew is straight up the middle. And you can mark the middle um, by, you know, by measuring seven inches with your clear plexiglass ruler. Whoops, I'm at six inches because it's 12 across. Okay, pocket in place, stitched across the bottom and right up the middle. And then I'm gonna leave those two pins right there to hold it in place for when we um, put it together. The next step is to make the handle. And you have this long piece of um, four by with the fabric about 42 inches, 44 for some people and only 40 for others. And what you're gonna do is take it over to the iron and press it in half like all the way down like this. Okay? And then you can take it and press it in like this. And, um, and then over like this. So I'm gonna do that and then come back and show you what that looks like. That sounds confusing. Okay, here it is. Here's the handle all pressed out. Um, it, you can see I pressed down the center, folded it together like this, and then in one side and in the other, and then I folded it all back together like this. This is a very standard way of making a little handle with your fabric. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch all the way down one side and then all the way down the other and press, and that's going to be my handle. Okay, there is my handle. And I'm going to cut I'm going to cut this little white part off just so it doesn't uh, mess up the look of my bag. And you want to fold your handle in half like this. And then just cut it right at the middle. Okay? And the next step is to go ahead and attach the handle to the bag. I'm gonna put it about right there and about right there. Again, I like to just use my hands, like four fingers in is fine. And put some pins there, pin here, okay? And then the same for the other side. Also, so go ahead and baste all your handles on. Okay, handles are basted. Now we're just gonna sew them right sides together all along here, down here, and back up again. Okay, here I sewed the right sides together, and I'm just gonna clip my corners, just like I did with that pocket before. I'm not gonna clip these corners up here, though. I'm gonna cut off that extra fabric right there. And then I can turn it. Inside out, or right sides out and check your seams the 
that's what my exterior bag is going to look like. So cute. And now I'm going to do the lining, which is um, just as easy. I'm not using any stabilizer on the lining because that uh, Pelon, I think it's Pelon 60, I'll make sure to put the right one there for you, is nice and thick. So I don't really need it on my lining piece. And we're just going to take the pocket and put it right in the middle. See how I do my, put my hands down and just pin it in place. And then sew it on. Sew it down here, across here, and up here. Okay, the pocket has been sewn on, and the next thing we're going to do is just put the two lining pieces right sides together. I'm going to sew down here. It's like we're recreating that little pocket because we're going to sew down here right here, leave an opening about the width of your hand, and then back up here, okay? And that's gonna be for turning the bag all out in just a minute. Okay, here it is, all sewn together. I'm gonna clip my corners again, just the bottom corners. And then, to sew the two sides together, now what, the biggest thing about sewing totes uh, easy bags like this is to make sure that your original fabric pieces are all exactly the same size and that your seams are all the same size and then everything comes together beautifully because it's such a pain to have to rip out seams if you make some you know if you don't measure correctly so just slip your exterior bag inside your lining like this and line up those seams. This is right sides facing. Line up your seams, open them up. You can see that. Just like this. Put a pin through. And the other side too. Put a pin through, okay, and then just tuck everything in. You can put a pin right in the middle, right there, and one right here. Okay, now that you have it all, and see how nicely it fits because I was real careful with my seams and my, pa my pattern pieces. So now I'm just gonna take, go back to my sewing machine and sew all the way around the top edge, so it's like a loop. Okay, now for the very best part. At the bottom opening, just pull your bag inside out. Look how cute and Tuck it in to make sure it works, which it does. Looks just fine. Here's the front pocket and the back pocket, <coughs> or the inside pocket and the handles. Now what you want to do is close up this lining opening, okay? And the way you're going to do that is just, um, you can either just kind of pull these and finger press it closed and then use a couple pins, or you can take it over to the ironing um, board and really get it nice. But I often feel like, because it's at the bottom of the bag and it's not very visible, you can just, and you're gonna just top stitch right along this little top edge. And it's done! It turned out so cute, I love this fabric. Uh, I think this is by Blend Fabrics or somebody. Um, so the last thing after we did that little closing of the lining, the top stitch, then I just pushed the lining inside and I pressed it really, really well. Um, you can, if you want, to do a top stitch around the whole opening. I don't know, I don't really think it needs it, but you can if you wanna kind of add that extra step in. 
but it's so cute and you can um, you know put some books in there my daughter has used one for her music bag um, it'd be really cute as library totes for kids or adults and it's just a fun little great thing for beginners or experienced people who want to like a really quick gift um, I love it so I hope you get to make one and let me know what you think leave some comments below and be sure to check out my pattern shop at gingercake um, bigcartel.com.